Let's be real, who actually digging through boring textbooks? That's why we're diving headfirst into the world of basic electronic components. Today, we're ditching the technical jargon and getting straight to the good stuff. How these tiny parts work, why they matter, and what they do and all. And let's get our hands dirty. First up, we've got the unsung heroes of the electronics world quartz crystals. These little guys are like the metronomes of circuits. You know how a metronome keeps the beat in music? Quartz crystals do the same thing for electronics. They vibrate at a super precise frequency when you hit them with a little bit of electricity. And we're not talking just any frequency. These are crazy consistent. That's why you'll find them keeping things in sync in everything from your wristwatch to the computer you're watching this on. Ever wonder how your computer knows what time it is, even when it's unplugged? Yep, you guessed it, a quartz crystal oscillator is keeping track of time. But it's not just about timekeeping, these crystals are also vital for communication. They help radios transmit and receive at the right frequencies, making sure your favorite tunes hit your ears without sounding like a robotic mess. So next time you're rocking out or checking the time, remember the humble quartz crystal working behind the scenes. Next up, we're talking transformers. And no, I don't mean Optimus Prime and the gang, though the basic idea is kind of similar. Think of transformers like the electrical grid's bouncers. They control the flow of electricity, stepping the voltage up or down depending on where it needs to go. See, electricity is generated at crazy high voltages, way too high for your house to handle. That's where transformers come in. They step down the voltage to a safe level before it reaches your home. But it's not just about stepping down voltage. Transformers can also step it up. Think about those massive power lines you see crisscrossing the countryside. They carry electricity at super high voltages to reduce energy loss over long distances. And how do they step it back down for your house? You got it, more transformers. So whether you're charging your phone or cranking up the AC, remember the transformers working behind the scenes to keep the power flowing. Now let's talk about control. And no, I don't mean your obsessive need to optimize your PC setup. I'm talking switches and relays. Switches are the gatekeepers of the electronics world. They're like the light switch on your wall. You flip it one way, the circuit's closed and the light's on. Flip it the other way, the circuit's open and boom. Darkness. But switches aren't just for turning things on and off. They're also used to direct the flow of electricity, like those old school telephone switchboards connecting calls. Then, there are relays. Think of them as switches with a bit more muscle. They use electromagnetism to open and close circuits often handling much higher voltages than a simple switch. You'll find relays in all sorts of applications from controlling motors in cars to switching high voltage circuits in industrial equipment. So the next time you hit the power button on your computer or start your car, remember the switches and relays making it all happen. Chapter 4. Integrated Circuits. The brains of the operation. Alright, let's talk about the real MVPs of modern electronics, integrated circuits, or ICs for short. These little guys are the brains of the operation, packing millions, even billions of transistors, resistors, and other components onto a tiny chip. Remember those old computers that took up entire rooms? Yeah, those used vacuum tubes instead of ICs. Talk about a space hog. ICs revolutionized electronics making everything smaller, faster, and more powerful. And they're everywhere. Your phone, your computer, even your toaster probably has at least one IC running the show. They handle everything from processing data to controlling displays to managing power. Without ICs, our gadgets would be about as smart as a brick. So next time you're marveling at the latest tech, take a moment to appreciate the incredible complexity packed into those tiny integrated circuits. Chapter 5. Transistors. The Mighty Amplifiers. Now let's zoom in on one of the most important components found inside those ICs. Transistors. These little guys are the workhorses of modern electronics acting like tiny amplifiers and switches. Think of a transistor like a faucet. You apply a small voltage to the base, the faucet handle, and it controls a much larger current flowing between the collector and emitter, the water flow. This ability to amplify signals is what makes transistors so crucial. They're the reason your headphones can blast your favorite tunes and your phone can communicate with cell towers miles away. But transistors aren't just about amplification, they're also fantastic switches, turning electrical signals on and off millions of times per second. This switching action is what makes digital electronics possible, from the ones and zeros stored on your hard drive to the pixels on your screen. 
Chapter 6, Diodes One-Way Streets for Electricity Alright let's talk diodes, the one-way streets of the electronics world. These components have a simple but crucial job, they only allow electricity to flow in one direction. Think of a diode like a one-way valve in a water pipe. Water can flow freely in one direction but try to go the other way, and the valve slams shut. This unique property makes diodes essential for all sorts of applications. They're used to convert AC power to DC power which is what most electronics run on. They're also used to protect sensitive circuits from voltage spikes like those little surge protectors you plug into your wall. And let's not forget about LEDs, light emitting diodes. These special diodes emit light when electricity flows through them, and they're taking over the lighting world one energy efficient bulb at a time. Chapter 7. Inductors, Storing Energy in Magnetic Fields Now let's talk about inductors, the energy storage units of the electronics world. These components store energy in magnetic fields when electricity flows through them. Imagine an inductor like a flywheel. When you apply a force to the flywheel it spins up and stores energy. Similarly when you pass current through an inductor it builds up a magnetic field and stores energy. Inductors are like the mellow buddies of capacitors, which we'll talk about in a sec. While capacitors resist changes in voltage, inductors resist changes in current. They're used in all sorts of filtering applications, smoothing out those nasty voltage ripples that can mess with your electronics. You'll also find inductors and transformers, those voltage-changing champs we talked about earlier. So next time you're listening to music on your noise-canceling headphones, remember the inductors working hard to filter out unwanted noise? Chapter 8. Capacitors the Electric Energy Reservoirs Time to talk about capacitors, the energy storage masters of the electronics world. These components store electrical energy in an electric field like tiny rechargeable batteries. Imagine a capacitor like a water tower. When you pump water into the tower, it stores potential energy. Similarly, when you apply voltage to a capacitor, it stores electrical energy. Capacitors are all about smoothing things out. They act like buffers in circuits, releasing stored energy when needed to keep the voltage stable. You'll find them in everything from power supplies, where they filter out voltage ripples to camera flashes, where they discharge a burst of energy to illuminate your selfies. So next time you snap a pic or power up your favorite gadget, remember the capacitors working hard to keep the electricity flowing smoothly. Chapter 9. Resistors. Taming the flow of electricity. Finally, let's talk about resistors, the unsung heroes of the electronics world. These components do exactly what their name suggests. They resist the flow of electricity. Think of a resistor like a narrow section in a water pipe. The narrower the section, the harder it is for water to flow through. Similarly, the higher the resistance of a resistor, the harder it is for current to flow through it. Resistors are all about control. They're used to limit current, divide voltage, and even generate heat. You'll find them everywhere in circuits, from setting the brightness of LEDs to controlling the speed of motors. So next time you adjust the volume on your headphones or dim the lights, remember the humble resistor quietly working behind the scenes to keep everything running smoothly. Subscribe for more stuff like this.